In the middle of last summer, Browns general manager John Dorsey was looking at his left tackle situation. Frank was looking at it for quite a while once Joe Thomas announced he was going to retire. How do you replace a future Hall of Famer at left tackle? Left tackle is such an important spot because the left tackle is the guy who defends the quarterback's blind side. For example, Baker Mayfield, he's right-handed, so he goes back to throw like this. So he could actually, it's easier for him to see people coming from this side, where the right tackle is, than the blind side over there. So what do you do? Thomas retires, and they knew that was coming. They tried actually to sign a couple of big name free agents. They didn't get them. They had a kid that came in named Desmond Harrison. He started his career at Texas quite a while ago, then was out of football for a while, ended up at West Georgia, a very gifted athlete, but only played one full season of football, and that was at Division II West Georgia. But in the middle of the summer, all of a sudden, a guy named Greg Robinson became available. Number two pick in the 2014 draft. Second pick overall, not second round, second pick. Went to the Rams. Robinson really struggled. And later ended up with the Lions. Suddenly now he's looking for a job. Dorsey had liked Robinson back in the 2014 draft. He loves to do this kind of rummage sale stuff. In other words, a guy who was a high draft pick and didn't, doesn't do very well his first couple of years in the NFL and suddenly becomes available. In Dorsey's mind, is that, well, there was a reason this guy was a first-round pick to begin with. Can we figure out, a, maybe we can't have him play like a first-round pick, but can we have him play like a starter or a useful player? Maybe what he really needs is to start over. So Dorsey brought Greg Robinson into Berea. They went out to eat. It was supposed to be just kind of an hour or two together. They talked for over six hours. And during that discussion, what Dorsey realized is that Greg Robinson grew up in Louisiana, was kind of a quiet kid, and that maybe he was coached a little long, wrong along the way. In other words, he's not a guy you scream at. He's not a guy you challenge his manhood. You do it the other way. You're positive reinforcement. In fact, Dorsey felt Robinson was so beat down by what had happened being a failure as a number two pick overall, then going to Detroit, and once again, that didn't go well that he thought, he being Dorsey, thought if we could kind of rebuild Robinson's confidence, we actually might end up with a pretty good player. So one of the things when they signed him to this contract for the 2018 season was, hey, let's make sure we coach him the right way. We go slow, get him doing things right, get him feeling that he can go back and be the player that we all loved out of Auburn. And if you remember, he didn't open the season at left tackle. Desmond Harrison did, had a lot of problems. Then Harrison got hurt around midseason. Greg Robinson takes over at left tackle. And I remember this distinctly because it was the first game that Greg Williams coached. The Browns lost to Kansas City. After the game, we're in the uh, press area. There's not a lot of us, but a number of us when Baker Mayfield's out. And we're talking about different things with the quarterback. It, right out of, he just offers it. He goes, I just want you guys to know, Greg Robinson did a really good job of left tackle today. And so we asked, would you like him to continue? We said, yes. Now, whether Mayfield came into that thinking, being told you need to build up this guy's confidence, or he just sensed it, or he just wanted Robinson to play, I don't know. But that endorsement from Mayfield seemed to really raise the level of Robinson's confidence. He plays the last eight games as a starter for the Browns at left tackle, does not allow a sack, allows only one quarterback hit, and got all these high ratings for pass blocking. His run blocking was so-so, but his pass blocking was excellent. In fact, that whole offensive line, once Robinson became the starter at left tackle, only allowed five total sacks in eight games. I'm going to say that again, five sacks in eight games where the previous, I think, three games, Mayfield was being sacked four to five times each of those games. Now, some of it, too, was Freddie Kitchens came in, changed the play calling, they altered some blocking schemes. But really, they needed that guy in the blind side, as it's called, the left tackle to anchor it. Greg Robinson did. So now, here we are. He's a free agent right now. He has just signed up with the Browns, a contract with guaranteed $7 million. 
total of nine million with uh, bonuses. Um, quickly signed with the Browns, and you know, you look back, and certainly John Dorsey deserves credit for taking Baker Mayfield in the first round, or Nick Chubb in the second round, or Denzel Ward in the first round. But if he found Greg Robinson, the starting left tackle, in what amounts to a football rummage sale, you got to love that. 